All right, guys, it says at four years of age, a normally developing child would be able to perform which of the following? Is it A, measure objects? Is it B, play with the peer using social skills? Is it C, play with peer though not on the same goal? <clears throat> D, understand the concept of conservation, water poured into a glass? Or E, cooperative play? So, <coughs> excuse me, this of course is back to the whole, um, you know, we're learning the developmental uh, milestones, for lack of better uh, category or whatever. So with this, I mean, obviously we need to know what, and we've already started on this, this is video two, but we need to know the gross motor, okay, the expectations. We need to know fine motor. We need to know uh, social skills. And then we're going to start adding in some extra stuff, and this is going to be the uh, the theory, okay, the learning theory, so more specifically uh, Piaget. Okay, and then, you know, of course, we got Vygotsky and Erickson that we'll kind of tie in uh, later to kind of wrap this up. But we have to know this to answer these questions uh, correctly. Now, what do we know so far? And I know it's, it's going to seem like, oh my God, this guy's doing it again. Yes, it's repetition. It's going to reinforce. All right. So when it comes to, uh, you know, when it comes to the gross motor, you know, we draw the person, right? We draw the person and... Essentially, we draw a line to the neck, which is two months. We draw a line through the elbow, four months, and line through the back, six months. The knee is eight months, and then the feet, uh, 12 months. That's because where our expectations are, at two months, they can hold the head up. Okay? Four months, they can turn over. Six months, they can sit up. Eight months, they can crawl. And then we're 12 months, they can uh, walk. Now, these are going to vary a little bit, right? But this is just more of a guideline, okay? So if the kid doesn't do it by four months or whatnot, you know, it's plus minus. But anyways, these are just kind of a guideline about what you, what the expectations should be or the minimum age about someone should be successful. And then when it comes to the fine motor, and we're going to combine the fine motor and the social skills uh, kind of with this. What I, what I mean with this, I mean, we're just going to write out one, two, three, four, five, and six. Because that's going to be the ages, right? Years of age. At one, for fine motor, at one, you can draw a squiggly line. Two, you should be able to draw parallel lines. Three is going to be a circle. Four, you're thinking a square and a cross. And then five, you're thinking triangle. And then six, you're going to think multi-sided uh, objects. And again, at age of six, we know that death is uh, permanent. Or at least that's the earliest uh, a child could be able to understand that concept. Now, when it comes to social skills, okay, social skills, we have uh, three types, okay, or, or three uh, levels of play that we need to understand for the step exams. And we're going to go two to three, and then we'll have like a three to four, and then there's kind of a, uh, there's a four to five one, right? Kind of like this. So, and these are just kind of, you know, age ranges, okay? So in social skills, you have between two and three, it's called parallel play. Now that's easy to remember, right? Because two, we, we were supposed to know how to do a, draw a parallel line. But in parallel play, you got to think that the kids are beside each other, okay? They are beside each other, but they're not, uh, they're not engaging with each other, right? They're playing beside each other, but they're not engaging. That's called parallel play play and that should be expected between two and three years of age of what you should see between three and four years of age they kind of associate you know they kind of uh, evolve into what's called associative play okay now associative play i want you to think of they are together but not on the same goal okay they're together they're, they're playing beside each other but they're not on the same goal you can know, almost think of like just like an adult relationship where they, you know, if it's not going well, they call each other an ASS. Um, you know, they're living together or they're in a relationship together, but they're not on the same goal. Okay. So in associative play, think about that. Three to four years of age, they play together, but not on the same goal. Parallel play, they're beside each other, but not engaging, you know, interacting per se. And then we have the four to five years of age. This is the cooperative um, play. And this is where they're actually playing together and they're using uh, social skills, okay? And that's really the three that you need to know for the social skills. You've got parallel play, two to three, three to four, you're going associative play, and then four to five, you're going cooperative play. 
easy so far. All right, <clears throat> so now we're getting into, the, we're gonna add the theory. And right now we're just gonna talk about the uh, Piaget. And they, you know, for some reason they just like Piaget's stuff on these, on these exams. Uh, yeah, they just do. There's four stages, but really you only gotta know. I mean, in my recommendation, I would just kind of really focus on these, the first and the third, because that's really where I can see the questions coming from. So we gotta know the names of them. Sensor and motor is gonna be the first Piaget stage. Now, Piaget uh, basically kind of said this, this would occur between zero and two. Don't get tied down in the ages, even though I know this question maybe didn't talk about that, but don't get tied down in the ages so much because they vary, of course. But <clears throat> the sensor and motor stage essentially is just saying that this is more of a, this is more of a trial and error, right? They're using their their senses, their five senses, to say, okay, here's something. I'm going to test it out um, and, and see where it takes me. But this is the stage. The sensor or motor is where you're going to get object permanence. Okay, that's the one you're going to attach this one to because this uh, object permanence occurs in the Piaget's stage one, the sensor or motor stage, and essentially, essentially, that is just where you're going to say. Um, that they understand that when an object, like an object, exists, even when um, they can't see it, okay? An object exists even when they can't see it, and you're looking at about eight months of age, okay? But you better to associate the word object permanence with sensor or motor when they talk about Piaget, okay? I see that question come up a lot. Um, it's really how the only way they're going to really test the Piaget's theory. Um, they're not going to get bogged down into the ages so much. They're going to say, you know, a kid, you know, can, knows that the ball is still underneath the blanket at what stage in, in Piaget's theory are, you know, are they most likely at. And you better be jumping all over a sensor or motor. Now, the other three stages, the remaining three, they're going to each end with the word perm, uh, oper <laughs> permanence. Oh my God, I'm getting the operational. Operational, operational, and operational. Okay, so four stages. Okay, four stages. We got sensor and motor, and then we have the second stage is going to be the pre-operational, and that, and then we're going to go into <clears throat> concrete operational. That's the one I want. I want you to know uh, more so. And then the last one's going to be the formal operational. So in the pre-operational, they say two to seven years of age, and basically this is just where you're going to get a lot of pretend play. Now, how do you go from sensor and motor to the pre-operational, aside from the fact that it's a, they're, they're saying, oh, around two years of age, you should transition into this? Essentially, that at the end of the sens sensor and motor stage, that's when a baby develops. Um, they, well, essentially, they, they develop the ability to think through a problem with act, act, without actually having to test it out. Okay, so that's when they jump from the sensor motor to the pre-operational, and again, you're, you're thinking the keywords here are more of like uh, pretend play, um, more of intuition. You know, they're going to take a guess on something. So when they saw the water things and they said, "Oh, we're going to pour uh, this glass of water into a flat one or a or a tall and skinny one," they're going to take a guess as to which one they think is uh, as as to which one. Uh, holds the most right and and chances are they go with like if they think the tall the tall one holds more or something but that's in the pre-operational but at the concrete operational okay concrete operational this is the one and i think concrete uh from a, from an age range if i was to memorize this you know 7-eleven was a, it's a convenience store it's on concrete but concrete operational 7-eleven years of age this is where they actually understand that when they pour the water and it, it no matter if it goes into a uh a, a, you know a short uh, a short kind of fat one or a tall skinny one that it's the same amount. They understand that concept when they get to the concrete operational stage. That's where the questions that I see um, <clears throat> where they really kind of pop up. And in this stage, they're able to uh, measure, you know, they, they, you know, and they may be able to do this sooner, but they really take, they really kind of use the, the measurement, how to count, um, me, you know, but again, measuring objects, you're going to see in more of a concrete operational. And then formal operational, you know, the, you, you formal hypothesis, experiment, you know, test it out, blah, 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 blah. But if I'm saying, guys, if I'm going to learn Piaget's thing, I'm going sensor motor, object permanence, eight months of age. 
Then I'm going, I uh, understand there's pre-operational, pretend play intuition, but concrete operational, concrete, 7-Eleven convenience store, 7-Eleven uh, years of age, that's where they understand. They're going to throw that question and say the kid understands that it's the, that it's the same amount um, in all the glasses. Okay. Now, what's the knock on, uh, you know, what's the knock on Piaget's stuff, right? The knock on him is uh, they said that he didn't really, he, he underestimated, uh, he underestimated social factors, social influences. Okay. So who can't, so who, who kind of not, who, who kind of takes up for that? Mr. Vygotsky, right? It was um, Vygotsky that basically uh, is, he emphasized social interaction. Okay. And then what is it? He let you learn in the zone of proximal development. And that's with uh, Vygotsky. All right. So there you go, guys. There's our added addition. When it comes to the developmental milestones, we know gross motor, right? Two, four, six, eight, twelve. Fine motor, we count one, two, three, four, five, six. Squiggly, parallel, circle, cross square, triangle, uh, death is permanent at six. When it comes to, to the social skills, we all we do is go two, three, three, four, five, six, parallel. They're, they're next to each other, but not really talking. Um, associative, uh, they're together, but not on the same goal. And then cooperative, obviously, they're using social skills. Okay. And then Piaget's, we're just going to go, there are four stages, but we're going to focus in on sensory and motor, optic permanence, and then concrete operational. They know the water is the same. Okay. So back to this question. At four years of age, a normally developing child will be able to perform which of the following? Is it A, measure objects, B, play with a peer using social skills, C, play with a peer though not on the same goal, D, understand the concept of conservation, water poured into a glass, or E, cooperative play? So four years of age. Now, not a great question because I, I told you I don't like the idea of this whole four, give them a, a time frame. I think they're more going to go work backwards and have you identify which uh, stage per se, but <coughs> excuse me, for the sake of this question, let's just roll with it. So at four years of age, measure objects. Now we knew measure objects. You're going to measure objects when it came to the concrete operational. We know concrete 7-Eleven convenience store is roughly seven to 11 years of age. Okay. That's when they're really going to use that skill. So at four years of age, we wouldn't expect now, could some kid do it? Sure. But would we expect it normally? We wouldn't expect it that if they couldn't do it to say that it was abnormal. I guess that's more of a better explanation. Play with a peer using social skills? Well, using social skills, that is definitely more what we consider that uh, cooperative play, right? Cooperative play, and that's usually between four and five years of age. Okay? Now, it says four years of age, but at four, would we expect that? Well, not necessarily. They should be able to start, but we shouldn't expect that to be uh, have them accomplished and say, hey, look, you're, you're right where you need to be. Play with a peer, though, not on the same goal. That is what they call associative play, and that's between three and four years of age. So right now, that one's looking pretty good because at four years of age, we should be kind of be able to do that. Is it understanding the concept of conservation, like water poured into a glass? And that the, the concept of conservation is what we're talking about, concrete operational that if it was that if it was poured into a glass um that they would understand uh that it's the same amount uh, and again that's between seven and eleven years of age <clears throat> and then uh cooperative play well cooperative play was actually this one and again between four and five years of age you got to know that uh you know I, i'd at least know the ages for that obviously so <clears throat> the correct answer the only answer on this one at four years of age normal developing child would be able to perform which of the following the correct answer is going to be c Play with a peer, they're not on the same goal. But again, guys, um, I know it's a lot, but it's really not that bad. I mean, gross motor, you're just drawing the person. Fine motor, you're drawing one through six, you know, and, and you, know, you know the parallel, circle, square, cross, triangle, uh, multi-sided. And then now you're just going to throw in the parallel play, associative play, cooperative play. And then for Piaget, you just better know the sensor and motor, object permanence, concrete operational, the whole water thing, they understand. And then Bogotsky, he said it's more about social interaction and the zone of proximal development. The next video, we're going to probably focus more on Erickson. And then that will pretty much wrap up the whole uh, developmental milestones. So, hope it was helpful, guys. And make sure that you, uh, <clears throat> you know, there will be shorts uh, videos that kind of go with this. Make sure you just reinforce it with those. Mm -hmm.